Hey, this is Rohit with another SolidWorks quick tip for you guys. If you like what you see here, check us out at SolidWise.com where we have hundreds of SolidWorks tutorials to help you guys learn SolidWorks. Today I'm going to talk about contour selection. If you right click in on your mouse and come down to the bottom here, there's an option called contour select tool. And when you're inside an extrusion, you also have a box at the bottom for selected contours. So there's a little bit of a debate on how much information that you should be putting inside of a sketch. Some say that you should keep your sketches very simple, and some say you should try to put as much information into a single sketch as possible. We have two sketches here to start. One is simply the base for this part, and we create features and sketches after the fact. And the second here has all of our contours in a single sketch. And then the features are built from that single sketch. So I tend to prefer this method. And I would say use this method as long as your sketch doesn't get too difficult to manage. And so if you get to the point where a single change to one part of the sketch is starting to ruin the rest of the sketch, that's when you'll typically know that you have too many items in a single sketch. But for example, if you're taking the SOLIDWORKS certified professional exam, you'll want to use a single sketch as it's significantly faster for producing the part that you're trying to create. So I'm going to go back in and remake both of these parts, or both of these bodies. And I'll go ahead and delete out the features to do that. So to start, I'll go ahead and build off of the sketch on the right. And in this method, I created the entire body first, or the piece of stock that I'd be using. And then I created sketches on this face to remove out material. And then I created another sketch on the top face of another circle. And then created another cut. And lastly, I create this last profile on this top face. and then cut through the part. Now on the other side, with everything in the same sketch, we can either come into the extrusion and start choosing contours, or we can right click in and choose that contour select tool. And in this case, if I choose this outside ring, and then this portion of the part. I can either come into an extrusion or simply use the instant 3D to drag this up. So you can see that if you're also combining this with the instant 3D in SOLIDWORKS, that this will be a lot faster of a way to create these features. But either method is valid. Like I said, I tend to prefer the contour select method as it allows you to put everything in one sketch and manage everything from there. Typically, in a more complex part, you'll use some combination of multiple contours and then possibly add sketches to other faces at a later point to make modifications. 
just keep in mind that you do have both of these options available when creating your part.